Welcome to the new storyline, to a already very well-established property. It, it, not just in the fact that this is part of a Jurassic World brand. But Jurassic World Aftermath is an incredible VR game, perhaps probably one of the best narrative franchise-based VR projects that I've ever seen. I mean, I've, I've watched a bunch uh, for different franchises, you know, all over the spectrum, but this game in particular, I've never seen, as I said, a VR game take the spirit of the films and create a new story and mimic that feeling just so well. But Jurassic World Aftermath is very impressive. Now, I'm not a big VR game player myself. I like to watch the games uh, to follow again the general story, but based on how I feel about the technology, I wrote a paper a couple years ago on, when I studied the, the VR tech more in depth, especially within the gaming space, and I personally don't like the idea of myself playing it. However, YouTube is a great avenue for those of you who do like to play VR games. I watch your gameplay, <laughs> as I did for this one. And to give a special shout out, because I'll tell you, if you've not watched the first part, these walkthroughs make it very enjoyable. I don't tend to watch myself. I mean, I, I do them sometimes on my gameplay channel. Shameless plug, link down below. But uh, like commentary with the associated gameplay. I mean, it's fun for me to do. I just don't, I, I, I prefer like narration free when I listen to it. But I will say, a wolf in VR, he's covered the game, or yeah, I'm assuming he, he's covered the game, did a really good job. Absolutely funny videos. I mean, again, it, it's one thing to get just to have that spirit and to hear someone else, you know, just reacting with that. Uh, that feeling that I definitely share watching a Jurassic World movie, especially in the theaters, but also with some of the humor and the, some of the levity, or the levity of you know just what was going on. They're really funny walkers, and I would recommend if you want to catch up on the story or maybe watch part two. Maybe you're like me, you know, I don't play VR games. There's a good avenue for you to catch up with the general story. If we do get a part three, I don't know. I'm sure part two will uh, indicate that as the end of the game approaches. But I really enjoyed this game. I I'm very impressed. I love the Jurassic World brand. There's definitely a mainstay taking place in terms of brand expansion into the video gaming space. And so far, it's gone very well, especially with this game. I'm really impressed. Let's go ahead and take a look at the official launch trailer. We did get the tease in the first uh, video, the announcement trailer we just looked at, that we've gone from the Velociraptors, which we've done so well, and the scares for them. Perfect. Um, and, and the way they immersed in the gameplay, again, this game is just a real surprise to me how good it was. And I can tell from the first trailer, like, this is going to be interesting, but it really just, I, I, I'm, I'm enthralled with, it, with where we're going. But we can clearly tell from that first trailer that uh, t big boys are coming in. The T-Rex, who was not in the first game, or the first part, he's now making an entrance. I wonder if he's going to pop up in, in terms of the flesh and how he looks into this launch trailer. Let's see. We're going to go ahead and watch this trailer first, and we'll talk about it more in my condensed reviews that I'm following watching the video together. Okay. Let's give us a look. Here we go. I've not seen much from Coat Sync. Um, I will definitely cover the projects in the future because I love the illustration One style. One thing I do know for certain. Real change. And it was a surprise to have like, Jeff Golden and B.B. Wong pop up. It was great. Oh, the Raptors are back. Which one was that? The one I watched called it Tabitha. <laughs> oh, and uh, Martha and Vicky. <laughs> Who are you? Really? Those aren't the official names, I don't believe. It was cute. A lot more dinosaurs. We got the Triceratops, too. Wu needs us to recover Blue's DNA from storage. Unfortunately, storage Ooh, is acquired story. in a chamber wow. beneath the vault. Do me a favor, Sam. Survive. That's it! The key! Get to that train and get it So moving. we have little mischievous dinos? It's not cute. It's so scrunch. I know, Mia. This is our part, too. You're just trying to make a difference. Uh-oh. Hi. <laughs> Don't eat me. I'm very happy. You know, even though I'm, I'm, I'm personally, you know, I, I can say this to somebody who, well, you're probably like, well, you didn't play the game, so you can't speak to that. It's just sometimes you can tell when you watch a trailer or you watch the gameplay as it functions, you can tell when a game is really, really good. And this game in particular... Just how, and just on another level too, how well the thriller aspect of the Jurassic World movies now that it comes in through a, a fresh narrative that is based, of course, in the continuity of. I, I didn't get the clearest sense for this. If it's either four and five, or like between that space, or if it's before the Jurassic World movie. 
the fourth one in, in the entire brand lineup. But the way they immerse that spirit that it's felt in the film just really surprised me. And then how the gameplay, even while consistent to follow, easy to follow, and simplistic in some regard, how well it just toned into that feeling. It, 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 this is a really surprising game. Um, I, I could hardly believe what I, I... Honestly, I'm like, well, you know, it's going to be a fun little VR game, but I've seen how many VR games in the past, and they've been fine, but I've never seen that consistency established so well and so boldly. And this game just... It, it, it really took me back. But I'm excited to watch part two. That's how I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to continue with the story. I'm going to watch it. As I said, probably for the channel... Uh, just to get the name straight again to reference properly... Uh, a wolf in VR. I'm probably going to watch his takes because his, his channel is absolutely enjoyable uh, with his commentary. I loved it. So, I mean, fair warning for the younger viewers. The game does have some swearing in it and he kind of swears in some of his videos. I'm not a big profanity person myself, but they were really funny. I mean, the fact that you named the Raptors uh, Tabitha, Marfa, and Vicky. I mean, it was kind of funny. So it's like, oh, look, there's the blue one. It's Tabitha. She showed back up again. <laughs> They were charming. I'll give it that. But the game just is so much fun to watch. And just to follow along with the general story, I love it. I mean, the Jurassic World brand going off to some very interesting places. And I'm really enjoying the journey, especially in the video game space. Truly surprising. What are your guys' thoughts with uh, Jurassic World Aftermath, especially the second part? Feel free to let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget all the good stuff for like, subscribe, the sharing, and hitting that bell. Until we get to watch more from the Jurassic World brand as it seems to further expand, or whatever we get to watch together next for whatever franchise, or maybe not attached sorry not attached to a franchise at all for the first time i will see you guys then but for now thanks for watching this video i love you guys don't lose all your fellow man god bless and peace